Do you use Airtable? Let me show you how to integrate it with Jotform Sign. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new signed document. So to do that, I'm gonna to head to the top left-hand corner where it says my forms and we're gonna choose my signed documents. Next, we'll head to the top left-hand corner, create signed document. And if you already have a PDF version of this document that you need signed, definitely utilize the upload document option. But for this example, I'm going to utilize a template. And just to keep things simple, I'm going to use this simple one page lease agreement template. Now, one thing I like to do before I start making any edits is I wanna do a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So I can see here that the landlord is in orange and the tenant is in purple. And if we scroll down, we see them both right down here with the required signatures. Now, if there's anything missing that you need for this document, it's very similar to our form builder. So all we need to do is utilize the add fields option on the left. I'm gonna go ahead and drag in their email and we're just gonna put it right up here and it automatically put it as the tenant, but if you need it to be the landlord, we can change it here or we can change it right over here in the email properties field. But we are good to go, so let's go ahead and get this integrated with Airtable. I'm gonna head up to the top middle tab settings, then over on the left-hand side, integrations, and we can do a quick search right up here for Airtable, and you're going to need your API key and authenticate. Now we need to choose which base we need our tenants to land in. So let's go ahead and select, I'm going to do the test zero. Now we need to choose a table. We'll go ahead and do table one. And now we want to map our Airtable fields to our Jotform fields. So we know for sure that we want the tenant's name. And we can go ahead and add the tenant's email. And we can put this in the notes section. Perfect. Go ahead and save. And if we need to add any more pieces to this, we can always add new right here. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and complete the integration and finish the setup. So now all that's left is just to give this a test. So I'm gonna head up to that third send tab. And this is where we need to enter in our tenants information. Now, if I click send to sign right now, it's gonna automatically send this document to both the landlord and the tenant at the exact same time. And that's not what I want to happen. I wanna ensure the landlord gets it first so that way they can pre-fill it out and then the tenant gets it second to sign. So in order to do this, all we need to do is turn on signing order right here and you see these dots populate on the left. So now we can click and drag if we need to, but we can see right here, the landlord's gonna get it first and then the tenant second. So let's send a sign. Now let's head over to our landlord's email. We'll go ahead and review and sign document. And we can see we have three fields and it dropped down to two because it went ahead and pre-populated my name for me. But for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. We're gonna do a quick sign and then a quick date. Perfect, I'm going to X out of this and we're gonna do sign and complete and then accept and send. Now let's head over to the tenant's email and we'll review and sign document. And we can see four fields and it dropped it down to two because it went ahead and filled that in. So again, just the same thing. We're just gonna head on down to the bottom and do a quick sign and date. And then we can see here that it says sign and complete right here because that's all we need to sign. So sign and complete and accept and send. Now let's head over to Airtable. All right, and remember we chose that test zero as the base. So let's go ahead and choose test zero. And we can see our tenant right down here. But it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about integrating Jotform Sign with your Airtable account, let us know. If you like this video and you got some value, definitely give us a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time you put out a new video. And I'll see you next time.